thank you to Illumina Neo for sponsoring this video. So AI is everywhere at the moment, absolutely everywhere. And if you're looking for how you can leverage some of that technology and you're a photographer who has been using Adobe Lightroom for forever, like myself, then this video might be for you. So I've been using a program called Luminar Neo for the last month or so, testing it out. It's a photo editor with a little bit of a difference to Adobe Lightroom and leverages a lot of the new upcoming technologies that are out there at the moment. And the reason why I wanted to share this application with you guys is that AI is doing so many things and there's so many different options for us as creatives nowadays. And I think it's really good to be able to see all of the options that we can possibly have and try to adapt the things that are right for us and our workflow. All right, so this is the Lumina Neo catalog page. This is what you first land on when you open up the app. But in this case, I've loaded up some of my images from 2023. I haven't actually shot that much, which is why there's so few images in here. Um, but this is where all of your images go and you're able to see them all, preview them all. You know, you can also do favorites and folders and all kinds of organization and that kind of stuff. And then over on the right, you have all of the EXIF data and any of the extensions that are relevant to this catalog page. So the next page is the presets. Presets, as you can imagine, are a huge part of the Lumina Neo program. And Lumina Neo has quite a lot of different presets that we can choose from. But where we're going to be spending the bulk of this video, and this is where you're gonna be spending the bulk of your time anyway, is in the edit page. And so there are a couple of things here to point out. There's a, a lot of different things here in Lumina Neo that are quite different to how you would typically handle your editing workflow. So I'll explain the UI first and then we'll dive into some of the things that I think are really cool in Luminar Neo uh, and things that are, I think are, are kind of worth considering, you know, picking up this, this application over something like say Lightroom. So over on the left we have layers and then in the middle we have our image which we can you know zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff in whatever increment we want and then we have all of our tools on the right so the first thing i want to talk about is this thing on the left here the layers so it's really cool in lumina neo you're able to add layers to your image progressively rather than having to use a, a program like photoshop for example in lumina neo you can just kind of do it all in the one app which is great so you add a new layer on top of the image that you're actually working on. And you can see here, Lumina Neo has flares, light leaks, sparklers, stardust, bokeh, all as defaults. So say for example, we wanted to add this, this light leak. So this is kind of like adding this nice little texture on top of this image. And then we can like stack up and build more layers on top of each other. We can add even more scratches, even more grain. Um, and, and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously you wouldn't do this, but it's cool that you can continue adding layers and layers and layers on top of each other. And you can even add your own image that you've made yourself if you have a particular look or a particular texture pack or something like that, that you wanna add all, to your images all the time. You can do that here as well. And I think that's really, really cool. So over here on the right, we have our favorites, which is quite nice. We're able to favorite whichever, you know, tools we like to use the most. Uh, we have extensions, which we will talk about at the end of the video. Essentials, then creative, which is where most of the really cool things about Luminar Neo live, um, as well as in the portrait and as well as in the professional settings as well. The most important thing is this develop raw module here under the essentials. So in develop, you have all of, you know, the, the camera raw-esque type develop options here for you that you would be very, very used to if you've used any other pretty much image editing program. So, you know, exposure, highlights just to retain detail, shadows, you know the deal. Blacks, whites, curves, uh, we have color, and then we have noise reduction, optics, and transform. So these are all very typical um, settings that you might find in any other image editing software. So with all of the regular image editing tools out of the way, I really wanted to spend some time talking about the cool things that Lumina Neo has and some of the different ways that it's changing the, the paradigm of how you might edit an image. And one of those things is called Relight. So I've got this image of Steph here and it's very backlit, right? So, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, detail on her face and there's not a lot of light on her face because that's just the way it was shot. 
So with Relight, Luminar Neo makes a depth map of your image and you're able to then change the brightness levels of that particular map. So you're able to effectively relight, as the name suggests, your image. So with this image, if I take, for example, brightness near and I slide it up, let's go quite extreme just so that we can see it as an example. I probably wouldn't do this for real, but I'll just show you it as an example. So here we have, let's say 88 brightness near, and you can see what Luminar Neo has done here. It's brightened up her face quite substantially. Um, as well as the rest of the body, as well as some of this area here on the left. And then you can also change where the far and close point is to the image. So if I change the depth slider here as well, and just play around with how far and how close this function might operate on, it could look like this. And so now it kind of looks like the image has been lit from the inside whilst retaining the outside details for it to look exactly how it was shot. Effectively adding interior light to this backlit image, which I think is super interesting. So for a quick before and after, this is how it used to look. And then this is after. And of course you could achieve some of this effect if you were selectively masking things and then adjusting the exposure of that particular mask. But being able to just do it in one particular tool and just slide some sliders and get it done in this way is super, super interesting. And Luminar Neo has quite a lot of AI features that are like this. And the next one I wanted to show you guys is Atmosphere. So what we've got here is a image that I've took of some Sakura and a little stream here with some fog down the bottom and a little person down here in the middle. Uh, and atmosphere, you were able to add uh, different types of atmosphere here. So we've got fog, layered fog, mist, haze. And if I just crank this to 100, you can see what it does. So I obviously wouldn't do this in my image, but this is just an example. So fog is kind of like upper in the image. Uh, layered fog it gives a quite textured, quite targeted fog. And then this is what mist looks like. And then this is what haze looks like. So with this, we're actually able to adjust the depth of it as well, as in how close it is to the camera. And so say, for example, we want something like this, where it is quite close to the bottom of our frame and quite close to us as well. And we can also change the lightness to make it more adjusted to the scene that we are trying to edit as well. So I can adjust this lightness down and we'll bring some of the amount down as well. And you can see that in this image, we've kind of just accentuated the, the fog that was already in this image. And if we do a quick before and after, this is what it looks like. So it's super cool and very easy to do, very quick to do as well. Now, AI aside, Luminar Neo also has some other features that are different to other image editing programs that may or may not speed up your workflow tremendously depending on what you like to do with your edits. And one of those things for me is glow. So here I've got an image, a street photography image that I just took of uh, Omaide Yokcho in Tokyo here. Uh, and one of the things I wanted to show you guys is glow. So I was a huge fan of the Orton effect. Um, and previously for me, I could only achieve this look in Photoshop, doing it manually every single time. Or the Orton effect is not the same as doing minus clarity and getting a little bit of a glow, but in Luminar Neo, you can actually just do it straight off the bat, which is amazing. So we've got these two Orton effect uh, options here and I can just quickly select that and then slide the amount. And you can see here that the image is starting to get really blown out with the halation and starting to get quite misty with the halation as well. So we can change the different glow modes to say Orden Effect Soft and it gets immensely soft. Um, and this is uh, the regular glow and this is soft focus as well. And so for me in my workflow, I actually do make my images a little bit soft, but quite textured at the same time, but I do enjoy that glowy kind of look. So for me, you know, something like this, and then going into the advanced settings and adjusting the softness just a little bit and then adjusting the brightness of the halation a little bit as well is quite a nice way for me to just 
do the the halation in post rather than having to use a promist filter for example and then you know that's quite a destructive way of shooting because your images are always going to be you know, glowy and that they're not going to be as sharp as they could be. Whereas if you just do that in post, you're able to retain your original sharpness values as well. So a quick before and after. So this is the after, this is the before, this is the after, this is the before. And if we say go to, I don't know, Auden Effect Soft and we tone down this effect. So say I drag the softness down, bring the brightness up just a little bit and the amount down as well. You can start to see that this almost has a, like quite a, a filmic quality to it. So this is the after and this is the before, after and before. I think it's just really cool to be able to just do this in the app and for it to look a very specific way that's quite different to how other people edit as well. Now, just to add to this image, we have film grain as well down here. And that is just adding a little bit of grain to this image and we can you know, add some amounts and increase some size, increase the roughness of that. And we can start to get quite a, you know, a te textured, quite filmic look to this image. Now, some of the other cool things about Luminar Neo is that they're always working on different extensions to increase the ability and the capability of the app, which I think is really, really cool. So in Luminar Neo, they currently have this many extensions for their applications. So HDR Merge, Noiseless AI, Upscale AI, background removal and all these kind of things. So I wanted to show you guys the noiseless AI feature that we've got going on here. So I've got this image of Steph and it's shot at ISO 16,000 on the Sony ZV-E1. And you know, 16,000 is a very high ISO to shoot at obviously. And if we zoom in and pixel peep a little bit here, we have a lot of grain here in the image. Uh, it is a little bit soft on her face as well, but we can use noiseless AI to fix that all up. So over here on Noiseless AI, Luminar Neo will automatically analyze the image and then provide a suggestion for which one of the three settings to use. I personally find high is a little bit too much and middle is a little bit too much sometimes. So in this instance, we'll just go with low and it will go and process and do the things and it will come back with this. So this is quite a lot better in terms of the background uh, grain that we had before. So this is the after and this is the before, after, before, after, before. And if we just zoom in even more on like, let's say this kind of area, this is the before and this is after, before, after, before, after. Not bad, especially for the low adjustment. This tool can do quite a lot more when it comes to uh, removing the noise, but I prefer to go for a more, uh, I guess, soft approach when it comes to, to noise adjustment. But I think this is really nice. Um, I will increase the sharpness just a little bit to get some of the detail on Steph's face back and increase some of the detail here as well. And if we zoom out back to 100, this is the after and this is the before, this is the after, and this is the before, Pretty good result in my opinion. You may or may not be able to see this through the YouTube compression, but to my eyes, you know, Noiseless AI does quite a good job. The last feature that I wanted to talk about with Luminar Neo is Upscale AI. And Upscale AI is a AI take on upscaling your images. So we'll take this image that we used again of Steph because it is shot on the ZVE one. It's only a 12 megapixel image. And so going back into it again, we can see this is the kind of detail that we have. And I'm, I'm viewing this on a 4K monitor at the moment. So it is quite stretched out, uh, but this is it. This is, uh, this is all we've got. So what we can do is when you Activate Upscale AI, it actually appears here in the catalog page on the right. And I can actually just drag it in to this little section here. And we can see that it was 2832 by 4240, which is the 12 megapixels that the ZVE1 shoots. And then we can go two, four or six times upscale. In this instance, we'll just go two times because that's fine. All right, so after it has done its thing, I have gone and selected the upscaled version and then favorited it so that we can see these side by side. But now we have a 5664 by 8480 image. And if we go into it and zoom into it, you know, there's just an amazing amount of detail. It looks 
so good compared to the original. So this is the uh, upscaled version. And then if we go into the original, this is the original version as well. So that's just a taste of what Luminar Neo has to offer. And I think this is super interesting as an app because there are so many amazing functions that previously from a workflow perspective were so disjointed and they're now all in the one app. And I think it's such a refreshing take on photo editing and having all of these different AI options in one single app, I think is really, really cool. And unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to talk about all of the other amazing things that Lumina Neo has to offer. You know, things like, you know, adding sun rays or all of the uh, portrait functions, like adding portrait bokeh and, you know, targeting different areas in portraits and, you know, super contrast in the professional uh, section of the features and, and cloning and, and dodging and burning and all these other wonderful AI tools that I just didn't get a chance to cover. You know, there's so much here. So if any of these functions and features in this video interest you in changing up your workflow as a photographer, then I'll leave a link to Luminar Neo down in the description box below and you guys can go and check it out for yourselves. And thank you again to Luminar Neo for sponsoring this video and enabling me to show you guys this new different way of editing images that is super exciting and very future forward. And so thank you very much for that. All right, that's it for the video. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, get out there and make something that matters. Peace.